Hey guys, Miguel here. How are you? We are trying today to do something magical. We are trying to revive really old messed up, thrown on the garbage, with your own cells to fly remote control planes. I hope you like the video. Thank okay, you. This is my my attempt to bring back to life a few old locked up batteries and I plan to be replacing these batteries that I have been using I am shooting to use exactly the same size so this is gonna be pretty simple I have been matching the, battery, the, the batteries that still hold the same voltage. For example, these batteries, for some reason, they do not take more than 4.7, 4.8 volts. And you can see it right here. You can see it? So, correct. There you go. And this battery also I pull out from a, from a laptop that probably is from the 1990s. This is an experiment. I don't really know if this is going to work, but it is a lot of fun. I believe that the voltage will be correct right there. Yep. And it is working fine. So the goal is to put that glue over here and make a very long battery. I uh, will be doing this, this, and this. <clears throat> okay, and in that way I will have 16 volts or the equivalent. I'm going to be hot gluing these ones. And uh, probably at this point, when this is soldered and ready to go, I will fold it in half to have somewhat around this package. Okay, package this size and it will fit perfectly into my plane. And these batteries that we have over here are some batteries out of someone's laptop. They throw it away and they were kind of unhappy with their laptop. But their battery is still in very good shape. So I, did, I make the decision to pick it up from the garbage and decide to recycle a few parts out of it. So right here you can see these batteries. These ones over here are Sony and I believe that these ones are Samsung. I will be gluing them together. Well, 
right here we have the first battery that I managed to assemble as you can see I have a train wrap and this train wrap happens to be a water bottle that I managed to literally use as a shrink wrap it doesn't work very well unless you have a really really powerful heat gun but it is actually exactly what I need okay I have this set of batteries ready to be to be assembled I just don't have any more of these plugs I have to purchase a few more oh and look at that this just came unplugged so I have to resolder it and um, this battery will be done well I'm grateful that it's only this this last plug <laughs> if it will be one of the ones inside I will have to disassemble everything okay guys what is gonna happen next is what we will be seeing a few flights with these batteries and compare, and compare them to the performance of these ones I can give you one heads up in relationship to that this is a 2.25 amperes per hour and this one is a 5000 or 5 amps per hour which means that this, if this battery was capable to give me 40 minutes with that small Skywalker I think that this battery has to give me more than an hour and uh, perhaps the one that is gonna run out of batteries is me okay thank you for watching my videos if you like them please subscribe and give me the thumbs up I hope to hear from you every single comment is greatly appreciated